I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. We're on the West Coast with architect Eric Rosen who shows us around his striking project in Brentwood, California. And designer Caitlin Murray shows off her client's hip and surprising bachelorette pad. Plus a bespoke Greenwich Village abode designed by Stephen Gambrell. But first an edgy and memorable Turtle Bay apartment with jaw dropping views. This view is absolutely amazing. All the furniture is low profile as to not compete with the view. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from a palatial townhouse on a tree-lined Upper West Side block. This home happens to be owned by famed New York duo Mariska Hargitay and Peter Herman. They let us come in today. Now from the street, the property's classic facade belies a stylish modern renovation, which you can see as soon as you step into this parlor level. Details include soaring ceilings, a gas fireplace, and a dining room which overlooks the landscape garden and the bright and happy eating kitchen below. Though brownstones aren't typically known for their abundance of light, the double height floor to ceiling windows flood the main entertaining spaces with natural light all year round. Upstairs, the master suite occupies the entire third floor and is an elegant ode to both luxury and comfort with amazing walk-in closets, a marble bath, and its own private terrace. It's one of five bedrooms in this nearly 7,000 square foot home. We are getting started in Turtle Bay at a mansion in the sky way up on the 82nd floor, the entire 82nd floor, in fact. And once you get over the 360 degree views of the city, you are in for a unique design treat that surprises at every turn. See how architect Mark Stumer of the firm Mojo Stumer redefines urban chic with an unconventional touch to create a truly memorable space with interiors that actually stand up to those jaw-dropping vistas. See for yourself. Hi. I'm Mark Stumer, one of the principals in the modern architecture and interior design firm Mojo Stumer Associates. Welcome to the East Side. I'm very excited today to show you one of our very modern special apartments we designed for a young and growing family. So our concept in the main living space was to create a comfortable living open area that combined living, dining, and an open kitchen that had the ability to be closed off. Because the dining room is one of the first places you enter on, we want to create a space that had a certain elegance to it. Though we're truly into contemporary design and it's reflected here in our work, we wanted an element of elegance to add to this, and the chandelier does it. And the table is the same material as the walls, and it picks up on the overall ambience of the room. We like the way it pops off the white floor. The Mikasa Ebony just really is, enhances the overall feeling of the dining room. And adjoining the dining room is the living room space. Besides selecting all the furniture and the materials, we actually also designed the ledge behind the couch and the coffee table in this living room. Well, as you can see, this view is absolutely amazing. And again, not to compete with it, we wanted all the furniture to be as low as possible, but yet still comfortable to not conflict at all with any of this incredible view. And now an exciting part of the apartment, one of my favorite places, the bar. Overall design is this open concept, all functioning as one space. So this apartment is comfortable if you're entertaining three people, you're entertaining 50 people. In Manhattan, every inch of space is of the premium. So we use this connecting hallway to be a display for the collectibles of the owners of the apartment. As you can see, they're big sports fans and Broadway memorabilia fans. There is a game room with an amazing setup of TVs, games, and a wine room with really the best view of Manhattan. But now, I'm taking you to the master bedroom. The high-end detailing that we worked on throughout the apartment carries into the master bedroom wing itself. The bed is the focus point of the room. We put it up on a platform and created a height so that you had better views out the window. And as part, of course, of any great master bedroom suite is an amazing closet. We have an all glass enclosed LED lit shoe cabinet, a sunglass rack on the outside of the doors, and of course the master bathroom is special in the sense of the openness to the city and the brightness you get to start every morning. How would you like to start your day every morning with a view like this?
One of my goals is to create what I call modernism with soul. I hope today you got to see the real soul of this apartment. I enjoyed walking you through it, and I look forward to seeing you again. That was a fantastic example of how a unique design vision can make a home feel edgy and comfortable at the same time. Coming up next, a Greenwich Village gem designed by Stephen Gambrell. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in Greenwich Village for a look at a bespoke property designed by Stephen Gambrell. This home combines loft-like proportions with the intimacy and detail of a classic New York apartment. All the spaces have a distinct purpose and character, yet a refined and elegant air runs throughout. From the dramatic black and white marble entry gallery all the way to the master suite, this is a home that redefines downtown luxury all across its nearly 6,000 square feet. Take a look. Hi, my name is Danny Davis. I'm with the Quirkin Group in New York City. Welcome to 65 West 13th Street. This designer, five bedroom, four and a half bathroom home offers gorgeous interiors, loft-like proportions, and an ideal Greenwich Village location. Stunning craftsmanship and premium finishes are the hallmarks of this exquisite 5,800 square foot masterpiece meticulously designed by Stephen Gambrell. Now the fun begins, follow me. Upon entry, you will be awed by this dramatic 44 foot black and white gallery foyer. From the marble walls, the Venetian plaster, the stately proportions, you almost feel like you're at the Metropolitan Museum. The grand entry leads to this spectacularly oversized great room. The designer incorporated high-level craftsmanship in every detail. Custom floor-to-ceiling industrial built-ins flank the formal dining room, and the retro forward vibe continues with these one-of-a-kind unique chandeliers. The great room's classic crown moldings draw the eye skyward, and the best part are these floor-to-ceiling curved windows with iconic views of Hudson Yards and the Empire State Building. This living room is perfect for entertaining and is large enough to offer multiple seating areas. Now, of course, with all the entertaining you can do in here, you'll need a place to prep. This kitchen is truly a chef's dream. You can't help to notice this immense marble island which dominates the space. A custom light fixture with hand-blown glass bulbs speaks to the level of craftsmanship you see throughout this room. Custom lacquered ceiling glass cabinets, a huge walk-in pantry, even its own water station. And my favorite feature? Geometric bistro pocket doors, which leads to a cozy sitting room with custom wooden shelves and multiple sitting areas to kick back and relax. The private wing of the loft has four separate bedrooms, playroom, and of course, this incredible master suite. The master bedroom was designed in a soft palette with neutral earth tones of blue and gray, a thick, soft carpet, and textural wall coverings add to the alluring serenity. The master also features side office and a marble encased bathroom with dual vanity and steam shower. And then an expansive walk-in closet offers multiple wings with hidden storage. This apartment feels more like a warm and inviting home than the modern day mansion it is. So that concludes our tour. Thank you for joining me. Coming up next, designer Caitlin Murray shows how she created a unique bachelorette pad for her friend and client that constantly delights and surprises. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in West Hollywood with interior designer Caitlin Murray. Caitlin created a hip, artful bachelorette pad for her client, blending soft, comfortable materials with glamorous details. The result is an eclectic home that's filled with both sophistication and whimsy in equal measure. Sounds like it's just up my alley. We join Caitlin for a tour. 
Hello, my name is Caitlin Murray. I'm a Los Angeles-based interior designer. Today, we are here at one of my favorite projects for a client turned friend. It's a super chic and eclectic pied -a terre with lots of exciting little moments to explore. So come take a look with me. As soon as you walk into this condo, this sign, Where Love Lives, greets you, which I think is really appropriate because it sets the vibe for the space. The owner is a 20-something globetrotting artist, so a lot of the pieces that we chose were based around the fact that we wanted to be artful and have this emphasis on vintage and modern, sophisticated and whimsical, really pull in all aspects of her personality. At around 1,000 square feet, there's not a ton of square footage to work with, but it's perfect for this bachelorette pad. With all of this natural light, this living room really lends itself to a lot of layers and attention to detail. We wanted to really make it sing with all the gold and bring in this Hollywood glamour. And really with design, you wanna take advantage of the center of the room, not just the walls for that 3D environment, which is why I decided to incorporate this chase, which is floating in the room and provides the perfect marriage between these two spaces without obstructing from the view, creates a little bit of a sense of dimension and a little bit of an indoor-outdoor feel. Perfect for lounging and reading a book on a Sunday afternoon. When it comes to the exterior, I don't think the rules of decorating are quite as strict. So this is the place to pull in fun pops of saturated color and little decorative objects that don't quite fit into the interior. I think the rest of this patio speaks for itself. I mean, look at that view. Now let's talk about the guest flex space. Since this is a one bedroom condo, I really wanted to make sure we could use this spare room as a flex space. It acts as a guest bedroom, an art studio, and a conversation area for entertaining. I'm a bit of a girly girl at heart, so I think this is one of my favorite bedrooms. It's just got this cozy feminine vibe. The bedroom design was mostly inspired by the wallpaper which has a little bit of this abstract cloud motif. And I loved the really light peach color that you see in the background. So that inspired the color for the room as a whole. We have a gallery wall flanking the TV, which is one of my favorite ways to make a TV kind of disappear on a wall. Since we're working with an open floor plan, the kitchen is visible from all the common spaces in the condo. Because of this, I didn't want it to necessarily be the star of the show, but it still needed to carry that glamour that the rest of the condo has. For a clean look, we decided to take the countertop material up the backsplash, which really cut down on how many materials we have to use and keeps everything looking very sleek. The hardware is a chunky lacquered brass that feels visually substantial but doesn't overpower the kitchen. And finally, the cherry on top is this dining space. I love it because it's one part fancy and one part fun, including this black lacquer dining table, this really awesome chandelier that's smoked glass and brass, so if you've got some fancy feasting to do, this is the place to do it. Thank you guys so much for coming to explore my West Hollywood condo project with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Bye. That geometric kitchen chandelier is a real focal point and obviously a conversation starter. Anything on the show so far inspire you? Well, be sure to check out our curated collection of decor ideas on Amazon. To shop the look, just visit amazon.com slash shop slash open house TV. Coming up next, we are sticking around on the West Coast for a glimpse into a unique architectural gem. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're with architect Eric Rosen in the Brentwood section of Los Angeles. Dubbed the Barrington Residence, it's an ultra-modern home cut into the hillside with a rooftop concealed beneath lush landscaping. This unique property completely erases the line between indoors and out with a series of cascading, light-filled living spaces that open up to the iconic LA views. Eric takes us in for a closer look. Hi, I'm Eric Rosen of Eric Rosen Architects, based here in Los Angeles. And I'm both the architect and builder of our recently completed project, the Barrington Residence. 
a 9,500 square foot single family home. We began the project by creating our own slice, conceptually through the old house that we removed and into the hillside. To contrast this void that we cut into the hill, we created an anchor, a large mass, something around which we created a series of cascading planes that would become a series of both interior and exterior spaces that we'll get a chance to visit in a few minutes. For now, why don't we head down into the entry slice and see what it's like inside the house. So one of the advantages we have here in Southern California is this beautiful temperate climate that's almost year round. So that allows us to create a real relationship between our interior and our exterior spaces. As you see over my shoulder, the material on the wall is a Pazzanetto Italian marble slab, which all came from one boulder, interestingly enough. One of the other elements is the floors themselves. We're able to do stained concrete floors on the interior that cascade up and outside of the house. So why don't we head into the kitchen and family room and let's see what that looks like. So here in the den, we can look back toward the kitchen and see where that Italian marble wraps around and becomes the backsplash to the kitchen walls. You can also see how the concrete floors step up from the kitchen to this den area and flow right to the outside. On the interior of the concrete is actually an air floor providing the heating and cooling for the house. These telescoping doors that disappear into the wall and stack create a fantastic relationship between this interior and exterior space. Within the master suite, my clients were interested in having a room that was separate from the bedroom area where they could work, relax, and hang out. So we have this lower level, it's the sitting room, and a few stairs up, we have the master bedroom itself. From there, our clients were interested in having actually separate bathrooms. He was interested in a more club-like, dark, woody environment, where she preferred a much more well-lit and open kind of space. The tub is depressed and set down into the floor so that she could have privacy while looking out this picturesque window. The decks off of the master suite and the lower den afford views to the lower portion of the property. And also over to my left is a concrete staircase, cantilevered, and bridging this lower portion of the property and taking us back up to the upper levels. It is up there that we'll see one of the most unique portions of the property. For a house set down into the landscape, it seems appropriate that we'll finish today's tour here on the roof with views out over the trees and up into the hills in the Getty Center. We're very grateful to our clients who gave us this opportunity to sculpt something very unique for them, and I appreciate you took the tour with us today. Hope to see you again soon. Coming up next, why the desert lifestyle might just be a new trend and the next hot market for home buyers of all ages. We'll be right back. Welcome back. From Palm Springs, California to the Scottsdale, Phoenix metropolitan area, desert living is now a hot commodity among young buyers, artists, activity seekers, and empty nesters alike. Living in a location with upwards of 300 days of sunshine a year might sound appealing on its own, but our friends at Cobo Banker are here to prove that there's even more going for it. See why. Hi, I'm Wendy Walker with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury in Scottsdale, Arizona. This area is located in the Sonoran Desert. Now some people might think that living in the desert is an extreme choice, like living in the Arctic or something. But there are so many advantages and people are catching on. Phoenix itself is known as the Valley of the Sun because we're surrounded by a series of mountain chains. And although it is the desert, there's still many lakes, resorts, and our famous cacti, saguaro, along with soaring palm trees. I myself am from Ohio, but I was drawn here by the beautiful sunshine and weather. In fact, we have an average of 330 days of sunshine a year and a median temperature of 73 degrees. It's a catalyst for outdoor activities, a relaxing lifestyle, and in my opinion, all things fun. And speaking of activities, Scottsdale is a golfer's paradise. We have over 200 golf courses to choose from. This area does have a fair amount of second home buyers and retirees, but we also have a growing population of young singles and people in the tech industry. There's still so much room to build and expand, whether it's in the valley or on the side of a mountain. For example, this home is a mid-century modern inspired hillside estate with panoramic views of iconic Camelback Mountain all the way to downtown Phoenix. 
It is truly a one-of-a-kind estate with a seamless flow between the inside and the outside. It's the epitome of the Arizona lifestyle. I've been with Cobble Banker nearly 20 years and I'm proud to be one of the few Cobble Banker Global Luxury Ambassadors. Luxury real estate is different in every part of the country. And the best way to market any luxury property is to utilize the tools that Coldwell Banker Global Luxury provides, including our unsurpassed online syndication presence, which means that our properties appear in internet searches all over the world. It's such an advantage to know that someone anywhere in the world might take interest in one of my luxury properties here in the Phoenix Scottsdale area. Living here in the desert is one of the most unique lifestyle experiences you could ever imagine. And it's something I wouldn't change for anything. But no matter where you're looking to live, whether it's a city on the coast or here in the desert, you can always find a luxury real estate professional near you. Just head to ColdwellBankerLuxury.com. That's all for now, but we hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to see any of these places again, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash openhousetv. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Open House TV. And definitely check out our Amazon page for design inspiration you can bring into your own home at amazon.com slash shop slash openhousetv. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with more memorable homes and designs.